Neural control and coordination is one of the chapter in first PC biology. This video has a simple quick revision of this chapter, which is going to be very helpful for the coming annual exam. So first you remember the classification of nervous system. Nervous system is classified into central nervous system, peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system. Central nervous system has brain and spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system has cranial nerves and spinal nerves. And autonomic nervous system has sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. So for the exam, remember the neuron definition structure and the points for 5 marks. So neuron diagram this one, uh, label diagram and neuron is a structural and functional unit of nervous system and in the cell body and dendrites you can find nissel granules and you can find Chavan cell that secretes myelin sheath in the axon and you can find synaptic knob at the terminal of the axon that secretes neurotransmitter during the transmission of nerve impulses and synapse is a gap between the two neurons there are two types of synapse electrical synapse and chemical synapse important one to the exam then for three marks remember the types of neuron based on the number of dendrites and axon so they are unipolar neurons you can find in embryonic stage bipolar neuron you can find in the retina of the eye Multipolar neuron you can find in cerebral cortex. So here is the representation of transmission of impulses across the chemical synapse. So you can find the axon and axon terminal with synaptic vesicles that secretes neurotransmitters between the gap called synapse. So you can find presynaptic membrane and postsynaptic membrane. Then you can find that axon terminal contains some vesicles that filled with neurotransmitter and during impulse transmission or action potential. So you can find those synaptic vesicles secretes neurotransmitters in the synapse that helps in the transmission of nerve impulses. Then remember the types of neuron based on the myelin sheath. If the neuron uh, axon is covered with myelin sheath, it is called as myelinated neuron where the conduction of impulses will be faster. If the axon is not covered by myelin sheath, it is called as non-myelinated neuron. Then you need to practice and learn the diagram of human brain. And remember human brain has three main parts, forebrain, hindbrain, midbrain. And remember, forebrain consists of cerebrum, thalamus and hypothalamus. And also remember, hindbrain made up of three parts, pons, cerebellum and medulla oblongata. And midbrain and hindbrain together called as brain stem. Brain and spinal cord is covered by one membrane called meninges. It has three layers, outer dura mater, middle arachnoid and inner pia mater. So between this layer you can find cerebrospinal fluid that act as a shock absorber and help to transmit the nutrients to the brain. Then remember for the exam, functions of cerebrum that is memory, communication and intelligence. Hypothalamus maintains body temperature, urge for eating and drinking. Then remember the types of nerve fibers. There are two types of nerve fibers in peripheral nervous system, afferent and efferent. Then cerebral hemisphere or there are two cere cerebral hemisphere. They are connected by a band of nerve fiber called corpus callosum that you remember. Then thalamus is a major conducting center for sensory and motor signaling and medulla. It helps in it helps to control respiration, cardiovascular activities and gastric secretion. And cerebellum is helps to maintain body balance and muscular coordination. Then remember limbic system. Limbic system is associated with amygdala and hippocampus. And as I said cerebrospinal fluid it is present between arachnoid and pia mater of meninges. It acts as a shock absorber and supply nutrients to the brain. I hope this notes is very helpful for you. Thank you students.